Hey guys, Kayla here, co-host of Bad Bitches. If you want to learn about bad bitches from all over the world, from all throughout time, then you found your bitches. So make sure that you, you know, subscribe to our channel and email us your bad bitches stories like, was your mom a bad bitch? Was your grandma a bad bitch? Great grandma. Whatever. Um... But most importantly, make sure you tell your friends all about us and go find us on social media. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I felt so creepy, slippery sliding in there. Look at I'm talking about other people wasting weed, and look at me. Oh my goodness. That's like a lot, too. Good golly. And it's dark. Is that okay? I feel like it just makes it more, like... Yeah, we can get into okay the story. Okay to get drunk now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, thanks for joining me today in my... Um, we call this the Dutch oven now. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> this is our new pod room, the Dutch oven. Does it so stay pretty welcome. warm in here? Yeah, yeah, it does. Nice. It keeps a lot of the scents in, too. Good. I'm glad I showered today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, me. <laughs> I'm glad I got really drunk and hung over the weekend and have gas. Yes, yes. So, that's amazing. Yeah. Welcome with my... Fart stench, my bad. And whiskey breath. <laughs> That's me. That's me. Yesterday. <laughs> oh my gosh, for you people out there, this is like my girl, Ginge, and Hello. she's she's pretty awesome. <laughs> she's going to be joining me this week. Happy to be here. Oh. Very, very excited. Yep. I feel like I need to get like a disclaimer out there. Um, yes. Yes. There's just, like, a lot of people who have been interacting and commenting and, you know, giving their two cents, which is, like, super fucking rad. I yeah. love it. I think it's great. But then there's, like, also people who are fucking haters and they're, the like, internet stupid. trolls. <laughs> like, I'm going to troll your post. Let me, like, just ignorantly tell you my point of view for... It's just, like, you... you you gotta not look sometimes. Yeah. Totally. Well, not like not look, but like not continue to look because they will never stop. No. And it's like whatever they have to say is irrelevant anyway. So, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> disclaimer before you end up wasting your time listening any further than here. Um, we're two women and this is a podcast. Ooh. So two women are going to be talking the whole time. And talking you about what women want to talk about. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't like listening to women talk, then this isn't the right place for you. So Or if you just don't like listening to other people's you. opinions and views and values and yeah, we wish you well and you know Sorry your life's boring and you don't like us. Yeah. <laughs> Click the little little button, find a different one. Someone yeah. will like us. Yeah. You know. The people that we reach with this are gonna be so much it's gonna be worth the haters that we collect mm -hmm. along the way. So, if you're fucking a weirdo who <laughs> likes to talk about dirty shit, and if you like the word fuck, then, you know, you're welcomed with open arms here. This is your safe space. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck you. <laughs> and eat a fucking dick, so. <laughs> yeah, go eat a dick. Yeah. Yeah. Just you fuck know. off. Whatever. Fly off. I just hope, you know, like, I'm thinking about, like, when, okay. I'm listening to a podcast, so, <laughs> listen. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so, listen. <laughs> we're pretending it's, like, 5 o'clock at night, and we're drinking like it's 5 o'clock at night, but we're not going to tell you what time it really is. You're drinking you're like it's 5 o'clock at night? I'm drinking like it's 11 o'clock and everyone else is wasted. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're in a different... Yeah. <laughs> shots. Let's do some shots. No, I'm just kidding. No. It's, no liquor yeah. today. It's no. Monday. <laughs> it's Monday. I know. Oh, my God. I forgot that. Oh, shitballs. Okay. 
So, as usual, we are going to totally mind fuck you and take you back in time and we're going to... Oh, yeah, where are we going? What we, year? We are going back to the 17th century. So... So, like, what they have going on in the, like, the 17th century? That's the 1600s? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, I think there was, like, a lot of raping and pillaging. I feel like, you know... As there are today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah. mean... Okay, but, like, probably a more aggressive state of manner, yeah. not, like, tucked under, like... I'm thinking, when I think of that, I think of, like, Robin Hood. You know, they have, okay. like, castles and shit. All right, and, like, everyone paying the church for, like, you know, being like part of that town's arrow. ship. Yeah. Like, no school shootings ever, because there was no such thing as school. No, your mama taught you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you just, like, automatically... Or your papa, if he was the one that's home, you know? You're automatically, like, from age five on, you have, like, a suit of armor, and you're, like, ready to rock... Oh! <laughs> Is that my baby? Where are you? Poland is already starting. Come to mama. He says, listen... Listen to my call. No, 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 no. He's literally clawing my wall. Okay. We do edit out burps around here or? No. <laughs> no. That was weak. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, if you can come up with a better one, I'll probably keep the better one. Okay. But your burps are definitely mine to keep from now on. Okay, because they will happen so as I drink seltzer creepy. alcohol. I'm going to, like, jerk off to your burps later. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> no. so, you know someone out there is jerking off to burps, though. It's my goal for at least some people to listen to us while they're masturbating. I mean, isn't that a just goal of if, everyone? If you do, don't let us know, though. N- uh, no, please. <laughs> please don't. don't. You keep that to yourself. <laughs> No dick pics ever, ever, not allowed. Unwanted. Vagina, probably that's okay. But <laughs> no, please no vagina. I'm so kidding. Don't do it. Resist your urge. What bad bitch are we talking about today? Ooh, okay. So her name is Artemisia Gentileschi. That's an easy name to say. Yeah, yeah. It's like, One more time. Artemisia Lichkajewski. <laughs> what? Like, pronounce it slowly. Okay. <laughs> Artemisia. Artemisia. That's very pretty. It is. Yes. Artemisia Gentileschi. Gentileschi. It's very Italian, mm. which I would know because I'm Italian. Yeah, you got some Italian. Yeah. <laughs> well, not There's really. A- it's like my great great grandparents came here or whatever. So I'm like white girl, white trash to the core. <laughs> So we have a little heritage to think about, if any of you out there have some Italian roots. Yes. So, we are in Rome. All right. This when in Rome. Born. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> this one's for you. <laughs> it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that one's a keeper. Yeah, I'm like, that one counts. All right. So... We will go back to motherfucking, motherfucking 1593. So we're starting off in the 16th century. So, Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just the end of the 16th century. Born in Rome, you said? Born in Rome, Mm yeah. Rome, Italy. I had to say it like that, you know. Italy. She died in 1656 in Naples, Italy. Okay. That makes her 63 years old. See, this time I did the math prior to the show Mm -hmm. instead of having a recording of what a fucking idiot I am trying to do math. And it's Um, like... uh, Was that when you asked Siri? Yes. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) I thought there was going to be a joke about 69, and I don't know if it came or not. I, like, my speaker wasn't working in my vehicle, so I was like, oh. Was there a 69 joke when you revealed, like... There was. Siri was like, because we're really mature. The so. answer is 69. I'm like, isn't it always the answer? <laughs> That's the answer to all yeah. your problems. 
I love it. <laughs> no, I really love it, though. I love it. Okay, no. Nope. All right. We'll, okay. We'll move so, on. I'm so she much. died at 63. Yeah. Um. So, like, 63, is that... Is that, like, an older age for during that time period? Oh, my God. That's, like, fucking elderly. Like, legendary. Like, I'm 63. May peace be with me. I've lived life. Yes. All right. You're like, right. wow, this person must be rich to be able to have lived that long. All right. So, All right. Yeah. Steady. Only the rich people live the poor good die young. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're just all going to be really thankful that we didn't live in this time yes. frame. And yes. I will elaborate um, in a second <laughs> once I find out where the fuck I am on my piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Artemisia was a Baroque painter. Okay. Have you ever heard that word before? No, is that like the type of medium that she used or is it like a style? It is a style of painting, mm -hmm. and it started with Caravaggio, and, but he is he died um, yeah. before, but his influence still, you know, was, mm -hmm. um, I mean, her father is also a painter as well, so mm -hmm. naturally, she want you know, she yeah, was she talented. had natural talent, she's lived with a painter, she developed the habit, she enjoyed it, I'm sure. As, yeah. All right, so we're on... She's a she's a baroque yep. painter. Yep. Okay. It's B A R O Q U E. Oh. That's a beautiful word, isn't it? Baroque. So the baroque style was then preceded by the Renaissance style. So that's a style you know everybody mm -hmm. kind of knows. Mm -hmm. The Renaissance era, or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Her mom died when she was twelve years old, uh, giving birth. Okay. So. At twelve, uh, what was the what was like the male situation? The father influence there. Her like, father was loved he her. an asshole? Yeah. Okay, so he loved her. He loved her very much. Aww. They had a great relationship. Um, he loved teaching her to paint. And oh yeah, because he <sighs> duh. <laughs> He was the painter, and yeah. where, that's where she got her crafts up from. Painters so. can still be assholes. Yeah, yeah, true. But she was probably like daddy's little girl. Mm -hmm. if she's like picking up his trade and like, you know. She was daddy's little girl. Mm -hmm. And the brothers, she, I think she had two brothers, and they were not as good at painting. Just just because they just weren't. So I they like always this story. <laughs> Like, we're, like, the, the, the trade passed down to the males, and they, like, quite don't have the knack for it. But, like, the elder daughter is like, yeah, Dad, watch me. Fuck yeah. I can paint. Oh. I have delicate hands, and I'm observant, and I can multitask, and I know layering and colors. No. Yeah. Like, that's, that's you know, she wouldn't talk like that at all. <laughs> I'm in Roman. <laughs> yeah. I like to punch like my father. She was eating the pizza pie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this dad. pasta sauce inspires me. <laughs> it's a fettuccine Alfredo. I'm cooking and I'm painting. I just don't. <laughs> and fuck the Olive Garden and the asshole. Oh, yeah. Fuck the, fuck the Olive Garden. Yeah. <laughs> I hate Olive Garden. Oh, it is terrible. And, like, I try, like, I'll have a friend that wants to go, like, every, like, five, six years. And I will try to be, like... I try to. I'll get the salad and, like, I'll do, like, the, something cheap. Because I know it's going to be terrible. But, like, their salad, I'll eat their salad. And then, say, right out, bring extra breadsticks, you know? Like, especially if I o order an entree. Look at my beautiful ass. Can you not tell that I eat extra breadsticks? I mean, fucking ass. Gasta. Ugh. You know to bring them. You're just lazy. Okay, so her father was a famous Tuscan painter, actually. Wow. So, um, his name was Orazio. 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 Uh, how do you say it? Do it again. Orazio. Like, Arazio? Mm -hmm. Arazio? Oh. Arazio, what's up? <laughs> I think. I mean, I don't know. Here, give me a second. This is what I do when I don't know how to pronounce something. Pronouncenames.com Orazio. 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 Yes. Orazio. 
Yeah, I don't have a thick enough Italian accent. Her father's name is Orazio. Papa, Orazio. <laughs> Papa, Orazio. <laughs> yes. I roll too many R's. <laughs> that means she's good with her tongue, folks. <laughs> she Orazio's you real well. <laughs> And her father taught her how to paint from, like, a child on, and he had workshops and, like, mm-hmm. taught other people how to paint. Nice. So, I mean, she she seemed like she had an aspiring life, you know, while at painting and good relationship with her father. How's her relationship with her brother? Is any... Totally fine. Cool. Yeah, she's got an amazing group of men surrounding her and taking care of her and shit. It's a good life for her. I mean, for right now, let's get into to some fucked up shit because yes, um, I've been listening forward. too much to, true crime. I'm like, all right, <laughs> let's... can we get this fluff piece over? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I'll drop a fucking fucked up ass bomb upon you. Let's do this shit. So do it. <laughs> um, when she turned 17 years old, she painted a very very famous painting called. Susanna and the Elders. Oh. And she was really influenced by her father's style, but her, like, her technique was very much like her father's, but her portrayal of these stories, because, like, back then, Mm -hmm. they did, like, a lot of, like, religious stories. Okay. Yeah, the, 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 the Roman Catholic Church, I'm sure, is a heavy presence during that time. Oh, yeah. 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 And this... Susanna and the Elders, the story behind it is, like, she is fucking, okay, she's, like, fucking walking through somewhere, and these two old men, like, accost her. They, like, try to rape her, and... This is what the the portrait is showing is... Yes. Okay. This moment where these two old men Uh attack this young woman. Like, it looks like a fucking graveyard or something. Wow. Anyway. It sounds intense. Yeah. It's like Hebrew. It's like a Hebrew. So I think it's like Jewish Catholic shit. I don't. Organized religion. I just, like, how can anyone keep up? (laughs) I mean, I'm a very spiritual and religious person. Yes. But, like, how? How do you keep up with any of it? I just want to take a nap. (laughs) <laughs> i'm sorry no not not today oh. not today i mean like <laughs> you're just tired like, of it, all the shit yeah yeah <laughs> i'm just so so tired of organized religion it's like hearing about it makes me want to take a nap because it all sucks and it's all rotten and it's meh. that's why back in this day the way that the church was your government t- at that <clears throat> time right oh yeah absolutely yeah um so Artemisia, she portrayed Susanna mm-hmm. as a woman who was telling these two old dudes to fuck off. Good. And that they was They can't like, fuck right off. Yeah, like, <laughs> that was the first time somebody had portrayed her as being like a vibrant, um, you know, like powerful woman. She was always mm-hmm. being raped or like being grabbed upon or okay. Like, in all the other portrayals. Yeah. Susanna? Susanna and the Elders. Okay, yeah. Like, with Susanna and the Elders, like, it's always uh, portrayed, like, the vulnerability in that situation. And it, it, it is refreshing to hear that they were portraying, you know, like, yeah, she probably was groped. It, or what is it portraying? Is it, like, these two old men try and rape a a young okay, woman. so it, they're 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 down to rape, and all the other portrayals of it were just kind of like her being, just being a victim, mm-hmm. and she portrayed her as being the power of like she. So she so- invented talk to the hand in the picture that I've seen. Susanna is like saying talk to the hand to these old dudes. She's nice. in the nude because they rip her clothes off. She's like. Fuck off, yo. She did! Leave me alone. You ain't raping me tonight. So this caused a lot of fucking waves. I was going to say, was this like a controversial piece of art during like this modern modern time where like that was like, like we were saying that it's part, sure was. that was the main source of media. You know, today we have our phones that we wake up to, but 
you know, people when... couldn't even believe that a 17 year old girl had painted it either. So they took it, took that from her. They took and, it from and her. And told and said that her father must have painted that. There's no way that she did it. <gasps> what? Yes. What? Mm hmm. That is so. They're like, we don't like need any proof. Like, we just know you couldn't have did it. So, like, yeah. fuck you for faking this painting. <laughs> We're taking yeah. it from you. So so they put his name down as, like, the creator. They, they, what, did, what, what did he have to say in this situation? Like, he can't. He, he, he said can't... he didn't. He said, no, my daughter okay, did that. Okay, he's like, but he just couldn't fight the man. They're like, no, yeah. don't, don't give her credit. They're like, this is a woman. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, dear God, it's a woman. <laughs> and she's, like, making other women look good. Extra ew. <laughs> Fucking dicks. <laughs> <laughs> they might get ideas. All right. A few um, hundred years later, we still might get ideas. <laughs> um, a couple years after that, um, Sus- <sighs> Susanna, fuck me. She's still painting. <laughs> yes. Okay. Artemisia turns 19, and her dad decides that he thinks that she has surpassed his abilities. Okay, like, now She's better than you're him. my protege. You're, yes. you're the prodigal son. He's like, Daughter. you need to have somebody that's even better than I am be your teacher. Yeah. So he hires this guy named Augustino Tassi. Augustino Tassi. Augustino Tassi. So what's his deal? He's he's well known. He's going to teach her more. He's a really good friend of Orazio's. And okay, he's so also like a famous painter as well. And he teaches painting classes, so he asks, you know, him to tutor Artemisia. And this motherfucker ends up being a total motherfucking rapist. <gasps> yep. <sighs> And he totally takes advantage of this little 19-year-old girl. Fuck, man. And the worst part about it is her best friend, who she became best friends with because her dad uh, rented out a room in their house and it ended up being to a woman named Tuzia. Okay, so she's best friends with Tuzia. She's getting art lessons from some fuckhead that's Tassie raped her, raped no. her, or is he didn't rape... rape her yet. Okay, but he huh. was alone with her, and him and his friend raped her, and she called out to Tuzia, and Tuzia ignored her, and then fucking mm. lied later on and said that nothing ever happened to her. Wow, mm-hmm. talk about a backstabbing move like i mean like holy fuck like you know this situation is going on like oh two dudes raping this person that i live with and she's calling out to me and then to be like later on after the fact like okay fine in a reasonable mind you may not know how to react you know like that's intense but then to be like nah man bitch made up Mm -hmm. i don't know how you could live with yourself what a coward how did this uh, continue for Artemisia then? She's still pretty young, 19, for having something like that happen when you're 19. Well, it's funny that you ask because I'm going to answer that and you're not going to fucking expect what I'm going to oh. tell you. Because she actually ends up in a relationship with Tasi, her rapist. <gasps> what? <sighs> he promises... That Dude. he's going to leave his wife and he's going to marry her. Of course he's married. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. And he's just like a fucking rapist. Like, this is not his first time. Yeah, I'm sure because it, it never is. Like, it never is. And, like, to get her in that point where, like, okay, I raped you and now I'm going to feel like I have complete control over you for yes. your entire being. Oh, like, uh, what a fucking motherfucker, man. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. Ew. Ew. Someone's getting murdered. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't think that's how this story goes. But <laughs> it's not. If it were me, <laughs> I was just gonna say. I, I don't would know literally how this would play murder out. somebody. I probably wouldn't be very inspiring. I'd just be like, "You're dead. I'm locked up." Yeah. I don't know. Um. 
And it was really, a really awful rape. It was traumatic rape. Like, yeah, he had his it. fucking friend there. Yes. Like, oh, that is Right? Fucked. And you're calling out and your best yeah. fucking friend yeah. isn't helping you? Oh, like, like, what a fucking realization to feel I think the that moment alone. that finished, like, they'd have to chain me up because I would be murdering. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would just be, I mean, I, like, probably not. I talk a big game. I'm, like, the, the most gentle person you'll ever meet. Like, I literally don't. Like when I tell when the I gentle do gentle ones are you got you got to watch out for us yeah, though. Like yeah, cuz we don't want to kill insects, but fuck anyone who rapes. Like It's uh, hard to accept, but you do have to like bring yourself to the realization that some people don't want good things for you. No. No. People there are people and it's a tough lesson to learn if you're if you're younger, like there are people that have an agenda when they meet you. It's hard to initially recognize that when you haven't experienced it. And especially if you yourself are a nice person, because it's so hard to fathom ever wanting to cause somebody pain. But Mm -hmm. there's people that get off on it. Yeah. There's people that like to cause pain. And it's hard to mesh with people like that when you don't like that. And not in a consented way, like to cause pain. Like if you like to cause a little pain... There's a whole group of people out there for you that love pain. Yeah. Yeah. That you should hook up with. But there's people. There's a person. Who don't like pain. I feel like every. And it's unconsensual. And people like the unconsensual part. Yes. And you're the motherfucker who should be fucking in a padded cell. Mm -hmm. Because you're fucked up. If you like uh, to unconsensual. And if you have other reasons why you're fucked up in doing this, please get help. Please start talking to someone. So, yeah, um, Artemisia, she ends What's up dating Tassie. Yeah, she dates her rapist. I think it's because, okay, so I'll move on because there is, like, a little section. Is she still, like, being taught, like, art or she's just dating him now? No, she's still being taught art. She's Good. still painting. Nine months after the rape, Orazio decides to press charges. Because okay. he's fucking sick and tired of it. Yeah. He yeah. know he he that's, knows he's that's getting Papa, scammed. That's paparazzo. Paparazzo Papa. is like, fuck your fucking bullshit. Yeah. I'm going to take you to the fucking pig yard. Yeah. And I'm going to fucking feed you to my motherfucking pigs. Okay, eh? so. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, uh, no, go ahead. No, I'm, I'm listening now. I'll listen. I'll be good. I had nothing to say. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> no, sorry. No. I was be like, you never right. disappoint me. Ever. I love you. I love you. <laughs> All right. So paparazzo, he tells the police, yeah, this guy in pain is raping my daughter. What can we do about this? What do they do about this? Um. So he presses charges because he's like, I don't fucking believe you. You're not going to fucking marry my daughter, are you? Mm-mm. Lying sick of rapist shit women were not allowed to file charges back in this day so that's why papa arazio um did the charges we need to okay that's stuck his name is now papa arazio it is papa arazio (laughs) i call my dad papa i know we're like (coughs) can't you see his little mustache like he probably looks like mario i bet when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza Paparazzamore. Nope. Okay. All right. Shut so, up. Shut all up. right. So, yeah. Paparazzio has to talk to the police because they need that. They they, they need a man's authority to file charges yeah, at this time. Women are pieces of shit. Of course. So they're not allowed to file charges against anybody. So feeble-minded. <laughs> so what he actually files is not an actual rape charge it's a like a restraining order like a restriction it, from her it is a crime of property damage oh, because a, a woman has a dowry right she had lost her bargaining value disgust i know like <laughs> Let's talk about women like we talk about cattle, and, and let's keep that going. Oh, no, it's even worse than cattle, because the only reason that he was allowed to do that was because when she was raped, she was a virgin. Oh. 
If well, 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 well been... of course, if she was unvirginized, like for whatever anyone reason, anyone fucking rape that her would, then. That would supposedly make her a more pure person or something. I. I'm so mm. anti-virginity. Mm-hmm. Like, virginity doesn't fucking make you who you are. Nope. So then... they basically just put a penny on the pussy, then. <laughs> if your pussy don't have pennies worth of value, then <laughs> rape on. If your vagina isn't dropping stacks of cash, <laughs> then it's not worth shit. All that doesn't make sense. Big All Jens right. isn't here, but we should do a fingers on the nips. Let's do a finger on the fingers nips. on the nips. <sighs> Can you hear that? Oh, my boobies hurt, though. Okay. She had lost her bartering value, which is, like, such a fucking fucked up way of looking at a woman's vagina. Right? I'm sorry, but that is, like, if somebody looked at my vagina as property damage... Oh, hell no. You know what I mean? Right, like, file an insurance claim on this vagina, please. <laughs> I know. Good golly. Uh, my grandma told me a terrible story about how when she was a child, she remembered the day after someone's wedding, the family would gather at the house and like hang the sheet that they went to bed in to see if there was blood and if she was actually a virgin. I'd be like, I fucking cut the, my inner thigh. Like, oh my god. God, that's yeah, my so grandma weird. told me that story. Like the the family would gather the day after the wedding, hang the sheet they went to bed with, and see if there was you know markings from losing her virginity. That is fucked up. Like, let alone is it anyone's business about a woman's virginity, but her own. You yes. know, like to gather your family around. Like, let's either rejoice or disgrace this newly married woman and i'm sorry but you can lose your virginity and not gush blood all over the fucking sheets yeah exactly the hymen is the hymen right that like can break from like falling off your bike pretty much still the same vagina whether it's a virgin or not yes so fuck you guys mother well not you guys you guys are (laughs) Literally, you guys are cool. You're obviously. tuning in, so like, <laughs> if you're yeah. still here with us, like, <laughs> yeah. fuck those guys. Yes. Fuck the other guys. Yes. And ass. And bleed all over the sheets while you're at it. Right? Bitch. Um, so there, there's not uh, a penny on her pussy anymore because it has now been tainted by rape. Yep. You know, because it's totally her fault that she got raped. So now we're going to go into the courtroom because, miraculously, I think it was just because her dad was a famous painter, they actually took the case. Okay. Yeah, he's he's known in the community. She was making her mark in the community, or at least trying to. Yes. I think his influence, you know. His like, art influence. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, in the fucking courtroom, Artemisia has to be examined by a Hmm. midwife in front of everybody, in front of the judge, to see if she's lying. All right, like, they're being, like... They're being fucking dickheads. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, we're gonna show your vagina to the world right now, even though you're a victim of rape, and this will make things better. No. How would you ever think that that would be And I'm sure, like, experiencing that, you would lose, like, some form of dignity. You know, mm-hmm. not only are you like having to and admit in publicly humanity. that you were were raped, which is nothing anyone wants to re-experience, and then be like, "Are you sure? Let's check out. Let's <laughs> check out what's going on down there." Yeah, I mean, if you're feeling vulnerable, let's just get you naked in front of you know hundred people that you have no never met before. That'll you know that'll solve this problem. That'll ease all our minds. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, things get worse, so hold on to your dipsticks, and we'll... Clutch them tight. (laughs) They literally put her to the screws. Put her to the screws? They fucking put clamps on her thumbnails and screwed them so that she would experience immense pain so that they could see if she would change her story or not. 
So if she went through all the pain and like, still kept her their, story, then like, she wasn't lying. Torture for lie detector tests. They fucking tortured her in court. You know, that has to be a similar um, feeling as, like, those bamboo shoots up your fingernails. Oh, yeah. As, like, that form of torture, like, clamps oh, on yeah. your fingernails and then being pulled to be oh. like, are you telling the truth? Like, fuck, man, going to court? They've come far in some guy, areas of government, I guess. This Tassie is already a known rapist. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's already he's already done this before. So, but obviously, I mean, I'm sure yeah. no charges were brought, but... Yeah, I'm wondering if he's, like, like very, like, smooth with his talking. Like, how did her father hire him? Being like, he oh, was. you're a known rapist. Yeah. He, but, like, he seemed known in the community, too, then, for his art. Obviously, yes. if he's more talented than her dad. Yes. And okay. he, like, raped his sister-in-law. <sighs> So, like, this guy's just a real fucking piece of shit. <laughs> not only should you not rape, just, like, don't involve your family of any sort. Yeah. Yeah. Like. So, they tortured her and, um. Publicly torturing her. They publicly tortured her and Artemisia was like, I'm telling the truth, you fucking assholes. And she stuck with her story. Oh, she yeah. She didn't change her story. Oh, right, because yeah. it was the truth. Yeah. And Tassie was charged with rape. Good. Did the motherfucker fry. And he was sentenced to, I don't know, something like exile and, like, life in prison or something like that. Okay, good. Not that I can tell the death penalty, but he's he, he's paying some justice for a while. No, no. He didn't. No. He never, the, they never followed through with it. So he never reported, and they never followed up, or... He... I'm not sure, you know, but they yeah, said that he... No, it's okay. It's very hard to get some information from shit that was, like, 400 years ago. Yeah. But from what I read, it said that he, the punishments were never fulfilled. Okay. All right. But he didn't leave Italy either. So they People just charged like, him. Oh, yeah, you raped her. You have this charge, but go about. You know, we don't We don't really care. She don't have a penny on that pussy like, animal. Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> you poor thing. They charge you with rape. How, how mean of them. <laughs> um, it, it was actually in a court document because the it was like one of the longest documented trials ever of the time. It was wow. like 300 and some pages long. Wow. And in it, there's an excerpt that is very graphic details that Artemisia gives about the rape. And she actually says that... Hold on, let me find it so I can really... Um, this is in 1612, by the way, that he is officially charged with rape. I mean, convicted of rape. How old is she at that point? Um, She was born in 1593, and this is 1612. So, so, she's still 19? She's 19, yeah. Okay. In a court document, Artemisia says that when he goes to rape her, he puts his hand over her mouth because she's screaming, and she claws his face, and she claws his dick so hard that she gouges skin out of his dick. Fuck and she yeah. said that it did not stop him whatsoever from raping her. So why didn't they have to publicly examine him? Like, where's your dick scratch, motherfucker? Oh my god, you're you such know? a genius. They should have done that. Well, probably because all like, the cards were stacked against her immediately. Yeah. He yeah. was treated like a victim, it sounds she, like. Yeah, she was the one on trial. Like, prove that you were raped. Oh, that's so awful. I know. Not that far off from some of the mindsets that people have these days. Yeah, we live in Hickville, too. Like, very small town. It's uh, skewed mindsets. We gotta watch our backs all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, like, there's pig farmers everywhere. <laughs> you don't know what those pig farmers do with them bodies <laughs> and girls that they think is pretty. Yeah. Um, pigs eat bodies and leave no trace of them, if you're wondering. 
or if you're like too young to have ever seen fucking yeah, Hannibal if you Lecter. Did, yeah, if you didn't know that, <laughs> pigs will eat anything and everything. So just you know. Um. So once Artemisia's thumbs healed from the fucking torture, the um, on trial court torture, <laughs> the court. The judge ordered torture. That's really great. Mm-hmm. Um, she moved to Florence, and she was the first woman ever to be accepted into the Academy of Arts and Drawing. Nice. So she was like, yeah, my vagina's all tainted, but guess what? I'm I still, still have G. V- oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I was like, I still have value, motherfuckers. <laughs> what are you going to say? I'm so sorry. I'm like, like, I'm still a G. Like, I'm still a gangsta. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's saying that. Even oh. though she was still damaged goods, her father still still found a man to marry her that oh. could put up with her, like, damaged her good damaged. label. Yeah. yeah. So he's how like, could How did he ever find a, a suitor for such damaged <laughs> vagina? This guy's like, I'll damage that even more. Come <laughs> over here, baby. <laughs> Let me put a dent in that. <laughs> um, He's like, I'm not interested in the vagina, so we're good. <laughs> I want a girl that has experience. Get over here, lady. Um, he, he probably got her at a bargain. You know, she was like on the clearance rack, like her vagina just hanging there. Like, you know, her dad desperately being like, don't make me support her anymore. <laughs> That fucking tainted no. puss. No, it's not because her dad was nice. No, I, I forget. Sorry, you no, go. We're, we're tr- we're, no, no, it's fine. But like, I'm like, okay, we're, but we're no, how too far? How did he ever, you know, find someone? Her, so tell me about this. Do we know anything about this guy who married tainted? Her husband was like, he's he's all right. He's a pretty cool, dude. His name was Pierre Antonio. Stiatessi? Stiatessi? Stiatessi. Whatever. <laughs> Pierre Antonio. Pierre Antonio. Pierre Antonio. All right. Yes. Uh, um, so we have Pierre and... Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's going to kill your ears. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. It's okay. Oh, no. So she got married to this guy. You know, she was, like, did her schooling and... She's got this rape behind her. Moving Even forward. Though, yeah. It was pretty clear in her, like, painting styles that this rape definitely, like, had an effect on her painting. Not the abilities, but, like, the portrayal. Obviously, before the rape, she already had it in her to kind of push the envelope and be a little bit more extreme. Yeah. After the rape... She went to, like, an unprecedented level. Like, I'm going to expose how I feel about this. Yeah. So she's, like, making these paintings with these women who are, like, nude and, like, walking Mm -hmm. around with, like, men's heads that are severed and on platters. Yeah. She's she's (laughs) fucking angry. She got (laughs) raped. Like, you think some demented shit after a rape. Are the men picking up on any signals with these... (laughs) Paintings, maybe? (laughs) There were paintings where it was, like, a woman was fucking hammering, like, a fucking steel fucking pick into the dude's head. Like a a pick, like, the size of a railroad. Like a railroad pick. Yeah. Yeah. Into his ear. She's, like, (laughs) hammering it into his ear. And there's, like, blood everywhere. And this woman is, like... I love that they're naked, too, because, like, cleanup's going to be so easy. Just, like, wash (laughs) away the blood. Go to your dinner yeah, party. Right. So, so like, how is how is society reacting to these these um, outrageous at that time? I'm sure these outrageous paintings that she's creating. That people did not like her paintings. Um, they 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 hated them. You're uh-huh. saying? Yeah, they didn't like her paintings. Um, she was not a very popular painter at like her mm-hmm. time in life. Which just goes to show you, people, don't get down on yourself. Yeah. It might just take 400 years for whatever you're doing to yeah. pay keep, off. Keep that journal, you know? Like, don't yeah. don't let the critics tell you you're wrong. Maybe, you know, they don't know how right you are. Maybe you're too ahead of your time. Right? And you just don't even know it yet. 
whatever. Anyways, so no, people did not like her art. They thought that it was awful. They were like, why are these women looking like powerful women? Ew. How dare you display men getting killed? <laughs> yeah. Only women shall be slain. Um, oh. She did have, like, some success with her art, though. Uh, she was paid to, like, paint churches and, like, paint, like... So she had a talent that she could uh, take a job to make a living with. Yes. But her personal artwork was poorly reviewed. Totally. Okay. Yes. All right. Like, rich people, she, like, fucking painted, like, their, you know... Are we going to talk about, like, how she's viewed today in, like, our today's society and their impression of her artwork? Yes, definitely. It's so funny. Like, you don't even know, but you're just, like, leading into everything. Well, I guess I'm not quite there yet, but... No, I just want to make sure it's coming up. I'm like, ooh, like, can I look this up online and, like... I actually did, you know, I'm glad you said that because I wanted to definitely tell people like i got this information from wikipedia and Mm -hmm. like the encyclopedia online like you know you can go and look shit up there was i don't even i think bad girls throughout history was the first book that i read where they just mentioned her and i was like i need to know more about her okay i can hear your tummy (laughs) oh that's okay anyways what so she's a she's a bad girl because of how revolting her paintings were at the time, and how like controversial, like mm-hmm. like how. <laughs> In sixteen eighteen, she actually had a daughter named Prudentia. It's a weird name. Yeah, Prudent. <laughs> Pru- Pru- Prudentia. There, yes. Art. Here we go. Artemisia didn't become a feminist icon until long, long after she was dead. Um, Back in her day, when she was alive, she was looked at as, like, a slut, and she was a whore. Of course, let's put the the slut label on right away. Yeah. In 2011, documents were found that showed that she had an affair with Ooh. some... Hold on, do I have it written? down? She had a lover. She had a lover. He was, like, another painter or whatever. And the same documents showed that her husband was, like, cool with it. Yeah, because, like, when you... And he, time, like, was, like, down... Like, there were letters between him and her her lover as well. I that think were that's just the like, way to oh, do it. Like, you're, great. like, legally bound in this marriage because they didn't permit divorce. So it's, like... Yeah, like, we can still be cool with each other. You do your thing, and I'll fuck this painter. Mm-hmm. Because we have more in common. You were, uh, you bought me by my daddy. Yes. <laughs> he, he gets the water flowing. Um, they unfortunately split up anyways in 1621 due to, like, oh. a financial crisis. So there's more tainting to her name now. Mm-hmm. Oh, dear. Mm-hmm. She bebopped around Italy for a little while, and then she landed in Naples in 1630. I think we should take a moment, okay. just once more, to rub our nipples oh! for Big Jen's. This is for you, Big Jen. Nipple rubs. Okay. Loud and clear. <laughs> I feel much more relaxed now. Like, I think there's a thing to it. Like, she's got, she knows something that, like, I don't know. We were almost done. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> after she split up with her husband and she just, like, was kind of working around Italy, painting churches and shit and, like, doing whatever to make money, lived just, like, a normal life trying to just take care of her daughter and... Okay, so she she left her uh, her set up husband. They both agree it's not working out. She moves to Naples. She Looks has like a her... daughter. Does the daughter move with? Yes. Okay. Yes, and that's just kind of where she hunkers down a little bit, tries to take care of her daughter and live a normal life. Um, her paintings kind of start to get a little bit more softer. They're not so angry and gory. Anymore. She's had some time to simmer down and. Mm-hmm. Good. She probably met a couple m- more men that, you know, reminded her that there are good men out there. They're not all d- 
deserving of a railroad spike in their face. Yes, there <laughs> there are some very great men out there. Oh, and, yeah. And I'm sure, you know, like, you, you got to become a, probably a little bit more wholesome while raising your daughter. And, you yeah. know, you kind of left the environment that, like, reminded you of, you know, that time period. You don't want your rape to be passed on down to your daughter either, you know, yeah. with, like, the effects of, the negative effects of that. Like, you're going to protect her Yeah, give her, her, her your strength from that. So, yeah, I think she died in the plague, but it's, like, really hard. They didn't keep much document, and especially at that time, like, there was so much death and, like, oh, unreported sure. deaths. And Especially I mean, during a plague, like... I mean, the the bodies have to be countless. The people keeping record are probably dying of the plague. So, yeah. you know, yeah, there's just no way. But she still lives on through her beautiful artwork, which is like all over the fucking world. Nice. Museums all over the place. Because now she's a fucking like famous feminist icon. Which Yeah. Way to have that legacy. Like there was all those like turmoils in her life where she could have been like, oh, fuck it life sucks but like no she since we're since we're on here there's one thing i want to say about life oh yeah Hit okay me. shoot the grass is green or where you water it and that's <laughs> that's what she did here you know like yes like you know sometimes you got shit grass but if you take care of that grass you know you can grow something beautiful your life is your life yes so you have to make it a good life on your own so she's... Nobody's going to do it for you. Right, exactly. So that's the story of Artemisia Gentileschi. She didn't let the rape get her down. No. And dudes out there listening, be your own paparazzo. Yeah, paparazzo. You, you don't always get it right, but he sticks up for her when he knows it's right, too. Yes, and you know what? I mean... If you don't have a kid, you could still be a paparazzo to, like, other women in your life. Yeah, be a paparazzo to your little sister, your little cousin. Yeah, be a fucking mom, you know, Anybody. all that shit. Be a paparazzo <laughs> to your little brother. <laughs> we can all be paparazzos, even women. Yes. Be somebody's paparazzo. Do it. This was great. I'm really loving how this episode is I hope it out. turns out well. I hope you can use it. Oh my god, of course. I definitely will be I able don't think I was it. I'm as funny as Big Jens. Everybody says that. Yeah. But because she's I, so naturally is, like yeah. you know. Yes. And I'm like, tell me more. That's how I'm in here. Just tell me more. It's okay. Some people like a little change up. I mean, it's it's good. It's a good mm-hmm. change up. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the reviews, you guys. It's like... Yeah, we had some uh, some likes and some comments out there. We're on all the different uh, platforms to listen to us. Check us on, like, Spotify. Spotify, iTunes. Yeah. You know what really is awesome and helps us a lot is if you, like, subscribe to us. And if you feel compelled to give us a rating, that's, like, super cool. Yeah. You don't have to, but... No, no. It's just other people are going to get in contact with this podcast if people give it ratings. So if you enjoyed a minute of it or you just, you know, don't care, just give a star. If you liked it, leave a comment. Yeah. If you didn't like it, then I feel really bad for you because we're fucking awesome. So, like, too bad for you. <laughs> too bad. Um, We're but, having fun. Oh, yeah. We're having fun. This is just for fun. We're here to, like celebrate women and Mm -hmm. make it entertaining and just have a fucking fun time getting shit-faced with my friend having a couple beers on a a cold wisconsin day yeah come join us hear (gasps) us hear our rents we're in wisconsin there's like nothing else to do you're stuck inside this is the only way we can stay warm (laughs) to be in the dutch oven it is nice and warm in here it It stayed stayed warm in here though yes it's nice <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, our Instagram is um bad bitches eight zero zero eight boob. And that's uh that's bitches with a Z. Yeah. So um I think the most important fucking part about anything is if you like us, go and like tell your friends about us and hopefully they'll listen to us too. Uh we wanna 
keep in touch with you guys. So email us at bbad8008 at yahoo.com. And we're open to any stories you have of bad bitches in your own life or... Yes, please send some stories. <laughs> All right. So um, hopefully you come back again. I mean, you have to if you're like this invested because, I mean, we're pretty cool. We'll still I be think. in here. So yeah. come back later. Maybe, you know, check us out. Bring your friends. Yeah. Your friends can bring your friends. Yeah, whatever. Am I getting? Am I doing Nelly? Is I think Nelly? so. I think that is. I was like, that's a song, right? I'm not very good with the pop culture, but I think that's a song. I might have effed it up, but I feel like I'm. My friends bring you. Is it yeah. country now? Is My it like gone? Some do something, shake your tail feather, or like, <laughs> is that what I'm doing? I don't know. No, I think it's. I think it's the one where it's like, you know. Whatever. One of well, those. We're, we're definitely editing this out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, Skip. All right. Yes, we are done. So we're going to get it the fuck out of here. Peace out. Yes. Fine. Bye.